in today's video, I finally get to pick my own. Strawberries, you mucky lot. We go in search of Hulk Castle and find a pair of St Chad's churches. So join us for an adventure in Halton Farndon. And we'll be back in time for Jam Tarts for Tea. Hello and welcome to Postcard of Mind. I'm Rachel. And I'm Wills. And today we're going somewhere where Wills has promised to take me for, shall we say, rather a long time. Let's find out where it is. Where are we off to, I wonder? It's Bellis Brothers Farm Shop to their pick your own. Oh, I'm excited. Now, how long have you been waiting to do this, Rach? Five years? Nope, seven. Maybe ten? Twenty-five bloody years, that's how long. When we first met, Wills would tell me all about his idyllic time, strawberry picking, and said, oh, I should go, be so romantic. Twenty-five years later, and we weren't even supposed to be coming here today, only because his dad said yesterday the strawberries are really good, and only because we've got a YouTube channel. So thanks, YouTube, I've finally gone strawberry picking. Sorry. The farm has a variety of fruit you can pick. But it was the strawberries we'd come for. Now let me at them. Row upon row of juicy goodness. Let's pick. Now we learnt this from watching YouTube this morning. The perfect strawberry picking technique. Watch and learn kids. Slide two fingers on top of your chosen strawberry. Make a loose fist around said strawberry and pull towards you. Voila! Nice try, lad, but a bit clumsy. Now it would be rude not to sample the goods. They were honestly the best strawberries I've ever tasted. And my jumper thought so too. You can't take her anywhere. One minute in and I've had an accident. I didn't eat it honest, it just went off in my hand, officer. Hmm, that's never going to stand up in court. Our aim today was to pick two punnets, one for us and one for Wills' grandad. All right, Harry? Wills had a go on a raspberry. Mmm, good. Really good. As you know from my little rant earlier, I've never picked strawberries before or picked my own strawberries. I don't think I will ever go back to a uh, supermarket strawberries ever again. My sister's always been a strawberry snob. Now I know why. It's amazing. We had a quick look at the other crops, posed for a social media photo, and then went to pay for our strawberries. And they were very reasonable. Right, time to check out the farm shop and the garden centre. We loved reading all about this place, how the Bellis family in 1860 found that land in this area was perfect for growing strawberries, how they expanded and bought this site in 1878. This was their first ever shop. Now it's a flourishing farm shop and garden centre. Let's check it out. Those flowers look very magenta. Reminds me of someone. Can't think who. There is loads of local produce on sale here, from meats, cakes, Jam and chutneys. Delicious. Now let's get some stuff for our tea. Uh-oh. Will's has spied the drink section. No, it's not pint time yet, Will's. All right, Mr. Bellis. There are lots of lovely gifts for sale. We still get sad when we see a ginger boy. Magenta flowers again. Now who is it? It's Magenta Otter Travels. You'd love it here, Dara. Magenta flowers everywhere. Well, except for those yellow ones. Wrecks them in the snow. Closest I can find to Christmas, but it'll do. Ugh. No, it's still not pint time. Off to Grandad's to deliver the strawberries. I hope you're enjoying this vlog, Harry. Then off to the Peeler Bells for some Sunday lunch.
Well, we've just finished at Bellis's. We've delivered the strawberries to Grandad. He was very grateful and he ate one. And we're now come out for some Sunday lunch to the Peeler Bells in Holt. Was Bellis's worth the 25 year wait to pick my own strawberries? Do you know what? I think it was. Nice little shandy now. No idea what's gonna happen this afternoon, but we'll cut back here for a bit of cheers to the good times. It was a lovely Sunday lunch. Sadly, Wills can't multitask and do the I'm loving this face whilst eating. Bless. We decided to explore St Chad's Church whilst we were here. And it was open. Oh, there's a step there, Rach. The church is built largely of red sandstone. The older parts of the church date to the 13th century. This font dates from about 1493. It has such bold carvings, most relating to the Lordship of Bromfield. Each of the eight sides bears a heraldic shield, including carvings of a lion and a stag's head. The church was the scene of fierce fighting in the Civil War. You can see clear musket ball marks in the walls. Amazing! Like most small parish churches in England and Wales, St Chad's feels peaceful and tranquil. This wooden door looks like it's travelled all the way from the 13th century with this church. Right, it's time for a look around Holt and see if we can find its castle. Well, it's not there. Castle Gardens, that looks more hopeful. Interesting fact on this one. The famous author H.G. Wells was once a teacher here when it was a school. Holt has a really pretty village square that they take great pride in. There are also information boards everywhere telling you all about its history. Well done, Holt. We had to mention Burrells, only it's not Burrells anymore. Remember Paul Burrell, former butler to Princess Diana? That was once his shop. And that's Arthur, Arthur Face. That's where Grandad lives. And that's a bloody big mushroom slash toadstool. There was a guess between two paths for the castle, and we took the wrong one. But we met this beautiful cat. Sorry, not sorry for all the cats in this video. Finally, we located the right path. Now let's see what's left of this castle. Holt Castle is a medieval castle. Work on it began in the 13th century. Although it was once a five-towered fortress, only the sandstone foundation and small amount of masonry remains. Castle was started by Edward I, soon after the invasion of North Wales in 1277. By 1311 the castle was completed. How grand it must have looked. Time to head back over the bridge and into England to explore Farndon. Wills lived here briefly as a child. This church is also St Chad's, but this one is in Farndon. This is the grave of what would have been my auntie and uncle, who sadly never made it past childhood. Sad. And I didn't know that until this day. We'd come to pay our respects and to visit Wills' gran. This beautiful kitty was patrolling the graveyard and making sure everyone was okay. It cost us two belly rubs to get by. 
And this is the gravestone of my gran. All right, Thelma. It cost us three cuddles and a purr to get out, but it was worth every second. Two churches, both St Chad's, one in England and one in Wales, with just a river between them. We've just been having a look in the graveyard here at St Chad's Church in Farndon, but now we're going to have a wander around Farndon and hopefully get down by the river. So uh, let's go have a look. If you've seen our Halloween vlog, we did a ghost story from this very bridge, but today we're off for a walk. This was the old boathouse cafe. It looks like someone's making it into a luxury home though today. All right, Sheila? Into the woods we go. We're having a lovely little stroll down by the river, by the River Dee. We found this gorgeous little path through the forest. We're not gonna go far but we're really enjoying this afternoon out. The river's not too wide here, and you can see Wales and Holt just on the other side. We even got an aerial view of Holt Castle. Now watch out for that! Top walk by the river, now let's go and check out the village of Fondon. That was Wills's Nin's house and where he lived for a year of his life. And here is where Wills and Rach disagree. Wills prefers Fondon. I guess he lived here so it's closer to his heart. I prefer Holt. I think it's prettier and has more pride in its history. And let's face it, it's in Wales, of course it's better. But Farndon is very pretty too. Good evening, Mr Bond. We just enjoyed meandering down the quiet streets, with Wills telling me stories of his misspent youth. Now that is beautiful. We've had an absolutely lovely day. Strawberry picking? It was worth a 25 year wait. I think we'll be going a lot more regularly now because they were gorgeous. They were. We nipped into the farm shop and not only did we buy strawberries. We bought some goodies for tea. <laughs> we did, we bought goodies for tea. Yeah, and we're going to show you what they are. We got some sun-dried tomato chutney. Oh, mm. Bellis Brothers sun-dried yeah. tomato chutney. Also Bellis Brothers chilli jam. Wow. Snowdonia cheese, port and brandy. That's gorgeous. Never mind Snowdonia cheese, Snowden beer, hey. Snowden lager. Some bruschettas. My old favourite, Wrexham lager. And some jam tart. Oh. It's going to be an absolutely cracking tea. Can't wait. So yeah, as I said, I had a brilliant day. I really liked Holt. Mm. I love the pride they took in the history of the place. I can't wait to sort of put this together and really delve into that history. They've got a castle. They have got a castle. It was really cool. There was more of a castle than I thought. <laughs> there still wasn't much of a castle, but there's more than we thought. So we're going to take this opportunity to say thanks for watching the video. And if you'd like it, we'd be super happy. If you push the bell, we'd be even happier. And if you subscribe to the channel, we'd be happier still be fun. so what we're gonna do now it's time for a point we're gonna nip back to the pub and as we say in postcard and find cheers, cheers to, to the, the good times, times. I know it took me 25 years to take Rachel strawberry picking but a few months back when it was a birthday I took her to an orchard and we stood there looking at the trees for about an hour not the apple watch she wanted apparently